In this short video, I'll demonstrate how to use the replace function in Microsoft Excel. In my sample worksheet, I have a list of product identifiers. As you can see, they are quite long, and I'd like to simplify them for others who may be using this worksheet. All of these product identifiers feature the number 2022, the word prod, as well as some hyphens. I will use the replace function to remove these common elements to make the product identifiers much shorter and easier to read at a glance. To begin, I'll insert another column where I will show the simplified product identifiers. My goal for the simplified product identifiers is to keep the first three letters, a hyphen, and the last three numbers. Everything else that is shown in red, we can remove. Or in the context of the replace formula for this example, replace with nothing. The replace function begins with equals, and then replace. Next is an opening bracket. I can now see the tooltip. This is the syntax needed for the formula. The first element is the old text. This is the source string that I want to manipulate. In this instance, it's cell A2. Then I'll add a comma. Now, the second element is the start number. This is the number of characters in from the left. Since I am starting at the 2, the start number would be 5 as it is the fifth character from the left of the string. Once again, I'll add a comma. Now, the next element is the number of characters. Since I am getting rid of the 2022, the word prod, and two hyphens. The number of characters is 10. Add another comma and the last element of the formula is the new text. This is the text that I want to insert in the new, simplified product identifier. For this example, I'm going to replace the removed characters with nothing. To do this, I'll enter two sets of quotes. Finally, I'll add a closing bracket and click enter. Now the product identifier is simply cat hyphen zero zero one. I'll copy the formula to the remaining rows. Now, what if instead of replacing the numbers and text with nothing, I want to add the word item? I can go back into the formula and where there are the two quotes as the new text. I can add the word item and a hyphen between them. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.